Hello, this is Haka Devine, and today we are going to r slash rules horror. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And let's get right into this. My neighbor offered me $500 to house it for the weekend. The rules are strange. 1. Do not enter the house through the front door. It will not lead you inside. It will lead you into an empty replica of the house that will leave forever. 2. If you see a tall figure behind the rear glass door, take one of the rubber pellets next to the fence and toss it on the second floor or window. Do not hit the door or any windows on the ground floor, or do anything to attract their attention. 3. Once there's nothing and no one at the bottom floor, you can enter. 4. The lights stay off permanently throughout the night until the sun rises again. Do not, under any circumstances, turn on the lights. To make it absolutely clear what will happen, you will hear an inhuman and a wailing then the aforementioned creature will appear in front of you, staring at you blankly. Every time you blink, it will come closer until the sun comes up, or until it will it can make physical contact with you. You will have once it does, you will have a seizure, fall unconscious, and probably end up in hospital with incurable delirium. So do not do it. Five, there are mirrors reflecting the moonlight onto the foyer and onto the stairs. Adjust them to make sure your path upstairs is lit properly. Six, when going into bed, walk up the stairs facing downwards. Do not turn your gaze anywhere. Look at the floor and only at the floor. Seven, after climbing up the stairs, you will arrive at the end of a long on corridor. It's still not safe to turn your eyes. Whatever you do, do not look away from the floor. Just keep walking forward. 8. It may seem like the corridor is getting longer. Keep walking. 9. No matter what you hear from behind the doors on either side, keep walking. 10. You may notice in your peripheral vision that the walls appear to be melting. They aren't. Do not turn your gaze. 11. What gets my... My bedroom, only lift your gaze once you shut the door behind you. <sighs> 12. As soon as you do, you'll notice a barricade installed on the, onto the door. Slam it in place so no one can open it other than you. 13. During the night, you might hear knocking on the door. Ignore it. Don't open it. Don't talk back. Talking back will not place you in danger, but will instigate the creatures to become even more aggressive. They will mimic my voice, or someone you know. They will threaten you, beg you, or anything they can to make you open the door. Do not do it. As they beg on it, liquid might pull up from under the door. Or frame. Lights might flash under it and you can feel heat or cold coming from it. Whatever happens, ignore it and do not open it. 14. Sometimes there might be an illusion appearing through the window. It won't cause you any harm, but avoid looking at it if you get spooked easily. 15. Once the morning comes, unlock the door, but do not open it. Exit through the balcony and the back door or instead. 16. Do not cook any food in the house. Any smell of organic flesh or blood will incite the creatures to follow you and, and darkness falls again. I have left you little shakes and savory snacks in the fridge. If you can't find anything you like, use one of the gift cards on your phone book at the back entrance to go out to eat. Make sure you come back to the house before sunset. If you're late, you won't be able to enter and the creatures will hunt you on the street. I'll come back on today at dusk. Stay alive until then. See ya. Huh, good luck. Goofy, I don't think you're going to survive that one.
second story. Is that cheese? You were just going through a door when you saw that the floor, walls, and ceiling were cheese. Maybe you just went through a wrong door. You turn back, but there is no door there. This is not a dream, so don't treat it like one. If all these rules to survive. One, this is a maze. We give you a map, but the maze changes itself every few minutes, so you have to find your own way. Two. Don't eat the cheese. It will turn you into one of them. Three. Beware of the entities looking around in the maze. They're the victims of the, the maze and are basically zombies. We call all them zombies. They will feed you the cheese and turn you into one of them. Four. They're stronger but not faster. You must run away and do not try to fight back under any circumstances. Five. Do not talk shit about the maze. The maze is alive and will kill you by itself if you disrespect it. 6. Do not say stuff like Santa isn't real or anything that kids believe if that isn't real. The maze is an unnatural and you speak kid who loved cheese and mazes. That was until the OU chose him to protect itself. The OU? Okay then. 7. The number of zombies is unknown, but we know they don't die. So if you get surrounded, please end yourself before they turn you into one of them and you cause problems to anyone else who comes here. 8. If you find other people behind you find them as they're in, a, are in the same situation as you. Also, they can be used as, state, as bait if you need to escape the zombies. 9. If you find a white door, go O3 and you've escaped. 10. If you find a black door with a red U, turn around and go back or you'll have to face the OU, which won't turn out very well. 11. The door to the maze is random, so you need to report this to us unless you saw something unusual that wasn't mentioned or the black door was open. From the UDA. Honestly, it feels like this story was written by a kid. Whew. <sighs> Story 3! Daylight Savings Time Sorry, next Sunday, we'll be entering Daylight Savings Time! Please remember to turn the clocks ahead while me and your mother are out of the city, and adjust your schedules accordingly. Here are some rules to follow until we get back. 1. Set all clocks ahead by one hour, except the grandfather clock next to the kitchen. Do not mess with the grandfather clock and do not Rely on it to tell you the correct time. 2. Make sure all lights are open at night. We need it. Do not use more power than absolutely in, than absolutely needed. 3. In case you need light, use candles. Why did it say open instead of off? Tell your brother not to handle the matches himself. He gets burnt. And make sure blood candles have before leaving the room. Assuming I have a brother. Well, I do, but dang. Four, if you're using candles, make sure the number of candles lit are always in multiples of two and never in a triangular formation. Five, keep windows closed, always, and the curtains open. If the eyes outside bother you, try not to look at, uh, uh, at night. And remember, they are harmless. Six, do not keep electrical lights it's open for more than an hour. This is very important. On, off, what does that mean? They like electricity, so make the most of the daylight. 7. Don't worry if the grandfather clock rings repeatedly at night sometimes. Don't get out of bed and try to go back to bed. 8. Remember to set your alarm clocks one hour ahead as well. 9. If the electric lights ever start flickering, turn them all off and try not to make too much noise. And don't panic. They leave soon when the lights are off. 10. Please unplug the toaster and kettle when you're not using them. 
as well as the fridge. Do not forget to unplug the fridge. I know it's inconvenient to go all the way to the shed, but it's important. 11. The grandfather clock lies. 12. If something enters the house and you cannot see its body, do not call us. The electrical signals of a phone are very strong, so instead, shout as loud as you can and the neighbors will hear you. 13. Remember to wake your brother up for school. Remember to light the logs in the water heater before that. 14. Do not open the cabinet in the grandfather clock. Do not listen to it. 15. Remember to enjoy the sunlight. Here we are on the fourth and final story. A question. Are you forgetting something? You're forgetting something, aren't you? You can't seem to make out what it is, so you ignore it. Wait a second. You again have that feeling, but you can't remember what you're forgetting. Do not ignore this warning, or this feeling will only get worse. Follow these rules to survive. 1. Write all of these rules somewhere and keep it close to you. You never know if you'll forget where you wrote and keep it. 2. I mean. Come to us. Just say, I feel like my brain is itching. We'll understand. 3. Follow our instructions. We need to pull that thing out of you. 4. Sign the agreement. No need to read it. It's for both yours and our safety, as well as those who are around us. 5. We'll give you anesthesia and form surgery on you to get that thing out of your brain. Please cooperate. 6. Once the surgery starts, it will get desperate and attack you psychologically. Be ready, because this is the hardest part. 7. I'll try to make you hand over control by mocking you and promising you a world where all your desires will be fulfilled. Do not give it control, as it is nothing but a trick. 8. Once the surgery reaches its final part, it will get too desperate to manifest itself in front of your, ooh, in your mind as a shadowy figure of yourself. You must fight it hand to hand. Nine. It can't be beaten since it's just a manifestation in your mind. You must dodge its attacks and do not attack it unless you want your morale to go down. Ten. If you succeed, we'll do a final health checkup on you to make sure you're all good to go. Then you can leave. Eleven. If you hand over control or lose a brawl, we'll have to eliminate you. If you have a family, then they'll be compensated according to the agreement you who signed. The UDA. Okay, who's making these UDA posts? Hmm. And my dad was r slash rules horror. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!